Hey everyone, James Wise from Holton Wise, and today we are talking about tenants from hell. Today I want to talk to you guys about an eviction from hell. Let's dive in. All right, so truth be told, evictions in the Cleveland area, they're honestly pretty easy. We don't usually run into too many crazy scenarios, but man, this is the worst eviction I have ever dealt with in my entire career. This is tenants from hell, man. I couldn't imagine that anything like this could possibly happen. So here's the story, right? We have a side-by-side -side duplex, okay, and it's on a corner lot. So one of the units is facing one street the other unit is facing another street so technically you could make the argument that there's uh two streets one was like west 112th i don't remember the name of the other one let's just call it main street so you got one tenant whose address is west 112th the other tenant uh, could also be known as main street both of these tenants stopped paying rent at the same time so we filed evictions on both of them now we go to court the first one Everything works out fine. We win the case. We get our writ. The second tenant makes the argument that our eviction is invalid because he's claiming he doesn't live. Because, see, in our system, we had the houses like West 112th, Unit 1, Unit 2. But he was trying to make the claim that he didn't live at that property. He lived at a property on another street because his door and his mailbox essentially faced the other street. The judge... He didn't really buy his story, but he gave the guy one week, a one-week continuance to come back and go ahead and prove his case. Just so you know, not all judges are equal. This particular judge was a very liberal judge, and sometimes you guys are going to get that. Just so you know, you think it's black and it's white. It's really not. It's gray. That's why we have things like attorneys. There's interpretations of the law. Everyone interprets the law slightly different. This particular judge didn't exactly buy this other tenant's story. However, this judge, they were kind of open to it, so they decided to continue the case for one week, and we can come back later, and if this particular tenant had any compelling evidence, he could possibly get it thrown out. Fast forward to the next week, we show up, new judge, this judge, you know, I've dealt with that judge in the past, he's a lot less liberal than the previous judge. He looked at the case for about two minutes and he said, yeah, this is insane, you know, totally evicted the guy. So we won two. But we won the other case a week before. So now our writs, we had one writ and then the second gentleman's writ was a week later. So we go to move out day. The way evictions work in Cleveland, you have to get a court appointed moving team and then you show up with the bailiffs. The bailiffs come in guns drawn if people are not letting him inside. So we start evicting the tenant out of the property on West 112th, the one facing one side of the street. And that particular tenant, they didn't move anything out. They didn't believe that they were getting evicted. I don't know what they were thinking, but it's a full family. So they're screaming and they're yelling and ah! everybody's totally going crazy. But the bailiffs, you know, we got in there, we sent all the movers and, you know, it's like four or five guys and they are just piling up the tree lawn. Mind you, it's the middle of the winter, so it's snowing, but they're piling the tree lawn. This is where it gets totally insane. This is where the craziest thing I have ever seen in my entire career happens. The tenant from the other unit, the guy living on the other unit facing the other street, comes outside, tells the tenant that we are evicting, hey, you could move all of your stuff into my unit. So they start carrying all this stuff. So the movers are literally bringing everything to the tree lawn. And then the family is then moving everything from the tree lawn into the other unit. So my team is out there. I was out there. I go up to the bailiff. I'm like, what? What, what, what are you doing? What, what is happening? You, we're, we're evicting them and you're letting them put it in a different room of the house. And he's like, no, no, no. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. They're being evicted from that unit. The other tenant actually has possession of the other unit. I'm like, dude, what are you talking? It's all one property. It's one house. It's my house. I've. It's like me evicting them from the dining room, and you're saying they can move the stuff to the kitchen. He's like, unfortunately, the way the law works, it doesn't work that way. That's a completely separate unit. So literally, the movers pull everything out, slap it on the tree lawn, and then the family moves everything and moved it back into the other unit, and there was nothing that we can do about it. Me, John, a couple other guys on our crew, and all the movers just had to watch this entire thing happen. 
It was completely insane. Luckily, we already won the other evictions, so the next week we came back and we just evicted everybody out of the second unit. But that is something that I never would have expected. I just want you guys to hear about that. Things do not always go according to plan in the real estate investment space. That's what this channel is for, folks. It is not always rainbows, sunshines, hugs, and kisses. The real estate business, the real estate investment business can be a savage industry. You need to understand that these things are par for the course. You can't let them defeat you. You just got to roll with the punches. That's why Holton Wise is here. That's what the channel's for. We have education. We have tips, tricks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Check out the Ask James Wise series. We've answered many questions about all things real estate investment. If you don't see your question there, drop your question in the comments. We will ask it. If you want to be a hands-on landlord, again, our goal is to empower you to be the best landlord you can be. But if you don't want to be a hands-on landlord, you don't want to deal with people moving out of one half of your house and into the other, that's what Holton Wise is for. We are a full-service real estate investment brokerage. We can help you find the properties. We mail out properties every single day at 1 p.m. We also do a full video tour on this page. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Also sign up to the mailing list so you see those properties and information on how you can bid on them. I am the number one seller of investment property in the Cleveland area. I'm James Wise, broker, investor, entrepreneur. Again, to see more about me, my personal story, follow me on that Instagram, at JamesWiseHWPG. Subscribe to this channel, and please hit the like button and do me a favor. Share this story with at least one person who's looking to become a landlord. They need to understand what they're in for. As always, James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.